Hey folks, Tui here. Let's talk about my Switch collection. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. I played it on the Wii digitally. I got about halfway through and I kind of fell off of it as it often goes. <laughs> I'm almost there when I almost at the same point where I left off. Hopefully I'll finish it this time. Monster Hunter Rise. Not the best one to start out with if you're a newcomer to the series, I would say. It threw me off to the point where I didn't really like it, but after a few hours, now I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> and I'm really enjoying the fast-paced gameplay. Phoenix Ride Trilogy Collection. One of my favorite series of all time, I think. I like visual novel style games, and this is probably the best one ever, in my opinion. I love the courtroom drama and the, the unique characters. Asteria Ascending. Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not super familiar with this. I just thought the art style looked really nice, and the gameplay could have potential, and the price was cheap, so I bought it. Street Fighter Anniversary Edition. Awesome game. Uh, I love this collection. It's great for playing multiplayer with family and friends. And actually the same thing can be said about this game here. 51 Worldwide Games. Classics, I think it's called in America or something. Good for all age groups. The legendary Legend of Zelda. Breath of the Wild. Uh, supposedly the best game on the system. It is very good. I'm not sure I'll g give it that honor, but yeah, it's really good. Definitely. <laughs> ah yes, Brigadine. I had my uh, cousin uh, buy lots of games for me when he, when he was over in Japan. I'm looking forward to playing it. Ring Fit Adventure. This is one of the games of the year, I think. A surprise game of the year. It's quite unique and you can work up a sweat. Really nice. I love it. Nino Kuni 2. Lots of gross stickers on it. I found it this really cheap. Sorry about that. <laughs> so this is another Japanese game from my cousin. It's Mega Man C, I think. I'm not really a, a big Mega Man fan, but then again I haven't played much of it, so I thought was, this would be a great opportunity. The reason I got my cousin to buy these physical games is because it's not available physically in Europe. This one, however, I think is available, but I hated the cover art. <laughs> I'm kind of a stickler about that sometimes. Uh, so yeah, this is a Japan edition as well. Another Japanese physical edition for Undernight Inbirth. X, uh, <laughs> it's one of those Japanese titles that's crazy cool in its weird titles. <laughs> oh, by the way, it's a fighting game. <laughs> I'm a big fighting game fan, although I suck at playing fighting games. I just love the characters, you know. In fighting games, all you have are the characters. I'm a narrative-focused and character-driven guy. World's End Club. Again, Japanese physicals. I think it's gonna be hard to get in the future, so yeah, I got it now. Island, Japanese physical, visual novel, I heard good things, uh, sci-fi elements, I love sci-fi, so nice. Super Mario Odyssey, I don't know why I keep buying Mario games, that might be a controversial statement. Platformers aren't really my thing, it's not a bad game at all, I, I completed it and it was fun enough. Root Film. If 
features, as far as I understand, it's a murder mystery, vis visual novel. The backgrounds look kind of bad, but hopefully the gameplay and characters are good. And story, of course. Animal Crossing! Uh, this is definitely my favorite Animal Crossing. I tried a couple and they weren't really my thing, then I got into a bit more into New Leaf after trying to start it up again. And then I enjoyed it, so I bought this, which is even better. Yeah, I put lots of hours into that. Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Yeah, I found it for a fairly okay price. Used. I might have gotten it for an even better price if I waited, but eh, whatever. I do enjoy the Monster Hunter series. Of course, it's a bit grindy and repetitive, but it's also quite unique and has lots of character. I haven't played much of this one, but after Monster Hunter Rise, I think I'll get back into Diablo uh, Eternal Collections Edition. I got this game in so many variants, I'm not really sure why. I mean, it's, it's good, and it's enjoyable, but it's not that enjoyable. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my purchases sometimes. They did a good job of translating the PC game to consoles. Bravely Default 2. I got this for a really good price for the time. Looking forward to playing it. I first played the demo of the 3DS original and I found the gameplay really, really nice. So I'm looking forward to playing both 1 and 2 in the future. Hades. Oh man, this game. Recently I came to the realization this might actually be my favorite game of all time. It's got it's got it all. Story, character, replayability, art, music, the whole package. Another fighting game? Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. Hooah! Compilation of lots of different fighting games into this one. The UI and art style and character in general is fairly nice, I think. I played it a bit and I want to play more. Blasphemous. Uh, it's a very much a 2D Dark Souls style game, I would say. Very good art style. Okay, I think that's all the games. Let's go to hardware stuff. So here's a nice cool little uh, overview. You got the games in the top left corner and in the bottom there something uh, I really like. It's a, what do you call, flea market found, find? My game stand? I'm not sure what you call it. The place where I put the Switch games. <laughs> uh, I really like it. The red color fits very nicely with the Switch redness aesthetic. So I was lucky there, but the unfortunate thing about it is that it doesn't hold that many games. So I'm already struggling a bit. The chance of fighting another one like it is, I'm guessing, not good. I haven't checked online though. Maybe I'll get like it. It's not specifically for Switch. I think it's actually for CDs. We got the Switch in the middle here, uh, to the right. And like many others, I have also had trouble with the left blue Joy-Con and the infamous Joy-Con drift. So it got so frustrating in the end that I decided to buy a Switch Pro Controller, you see below it, which is a good purchase. I really like the Pro Controller. On the top right, we got the Switch Fight Stick from Hori. I love the design of this. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of a, <laughs> a Ferrari or something. I'm not a car guy, but it's got kind of a sports car look to it. And it plays well too. All right, that's my Switch collection so far. If you want to keep up to date with it and see my other collections of games from PlayStation and Xbox and so on, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.